This video will guide you through the correct method of using a Bunsen burner. Bunsen burners are commonly used to heat substances in the lab. It is important that you know how to light and use a Bunsen burner safely. Remember that an open flame can be considered a potential hazard, so you must observe the correct protocol at all times to ensure your safety. Before you light your Bunsen burner, make sure that long hair is tied back and any loose clothing is tucked away safely inside your lab coat. Check that the area around your Bunsen burner on your bench is clear and that there are no flammable substances such as alcohols anywhere near your bench. A Bunsen burner consists of an air hole, collar, barrel and base with tubing connected by the base. Make sure that all gas taps on the bench are closed first before opening the gas supply to the bench. Check that the tubing is properly connected to the gas supply and to your Bunsen burner. The following steps will guide you through the correct method of igniting a Bunsen burner. Step 1. Close the air hole by rotating the collar. Light your match and hold it over the barrel as you slowly open the gas tap by lifting up the tap and turning the tap anti-clockwise. Do not cross your arms when doing this process. A rule of thumb is, if the Bunsen burner is on your left hand side and the gas tap is on your right hand side, the lit match will be in your left hand and your right hand will open the gas tap. This process will be vice versa if the Bunsen burner and the gas tap are the other way around. The gas will then ignite and an orange yellow flame will form. This flame is called a luminous flame and it is due to the air supplies being closed off. Step 2. Once the Bunsen burner is lit, focus on blowing out the match before proceeding to the next step. Step 3. Increase or decrease the gas supply using the gas tap to get a suitable flame size. At this point, the flame is still a luminous flame and it is not used for heating substances in the lab as it deposits soot on the apparatus. Therefore, we want a non-luminous flame, which is a pale blue flame. Step 4. The non-luminous flame is achieved by rotating the collar to the open air hole and increasing the air supply. The non-luminous flame has the perfect amount of air supply when the flame shows two distinctive phases within the flame. This flame is difficult to see, so you should never light the Bunsen burner with the air hole open or it may not sufficiently ignite, which results in a safety risk. Should your flame go out, turn off the gas immediately and begin the process again. A Bunsen burner is regularly used to heat solutions. Solutions in test tubes can be heated by using a wooden test tube peg holder and heating it in the flame. Always make sure that the test tube is not more than half full and ensure that it does not remain stationary in the flame. Never leave your Bunsen burner unattended. You should always close the gas tap whenever you leave your bench. That's all from us on the Bunsen burner. We hope that you now know the correct steps used to ignite and handle the Bunsen burner while being safe in the lab by following the correct safety procedures. However, if you need any assistance with the Bunsen burner, don't hesitate to ask your demonstrator.